Okay, this is a second video of uh, writing as uh, an interrupt uh, for a big microcontroller. So I have an experiment number four of my course. So basically, here in the experiment we have uh, we need to write a, 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 an assembly code using MPLAB. Uh, where we have four LEDs are connected to port C and we need to display uh, to display the output so if we look at the algorithm maybe it's not clear here but basically we need to use RB0 the external interrupt so when it's enabled we need to display the LEDs of uh, port C which is basically in the interrupt subroutine we need to display the value of port D as an input into the value into the port C which is the LEDs okay so this is the algorithm so if we go immediately to the uh, MB lab and we create a new project Next, so we select mid range and then with the 87F8077A. 80, Where is 87.7? This is 9. Nope, not that one. Should be down. Okay, no. What's going on? Yeah, it should be here. 87.7. Seven, three, seven, four, eight, this is the one. Okay, good. Now simulator. Now if we check the and let's write as an experiment four. Finish. All right. So now we need to write the source code and let's call it X interrupt. All right. Now we need to, as usual, to write the include b sixteen f eighty seven seven a dot inc o r g zero zero. Then we do the end. All right. Now what do we need to do? We need we have. We see the exercise again so we have port D as an input and port C as an output so we need whenever there is a, an external interrupt port D will display the output to port C okay so let's do the the bank select bank what's wrong Bank. No, there is some problem here. Maybe because. All right. So this is the one. So bank. Select. Port. Sorry, Trissi. Trissi or Trissi. Now we need to make port D as an input. So we'll move LW0 XFF and then move WF. So this is the input, now we need to make port C as an output, so we need just do a clear F port C. No, now we did, we can change like Go back to bank, select A, port A. Okay, so now we are bank zero. 
probably we need to do kind of change uh, definitions here we, since int con register is available in all banks so we can we don't care whether where we are actually we can put it here change the end con or we can change it at the bank zero so we can we need to do uh, the bit set file of end con of GIE and we need to bit set file end con of uh, inter external interrupt okay so now we enable the interrupt uh, rb0 now what do we need to do is we have org04 for the interrupt but if we lift it like this it will execute org and then org04 but we need to skip that so basically what we will do we will do some kind of label any kind of label start or strt or start and then we do go to start okay so we go to start which means when, when we execute it will jump to start and it will skip the org04 so now we start now okay what do we need to do in port b do nothing in bank zero we do nothing basically what do we need probably we need to go all right we just do it this way loop and go to loop so we do nothing it's just this is the main program right now and let me do the interrupt subroutine which has a red fee return so the interrupt subroutine what do we need to do once there is an interrupt we need to display to move f for b into w and then move wf into port c okay this is the interrupt so what do we need more well, what we are missing basically we need once we we have the flag we need to clear bcf uh, end con comma i n b f so we need to clear the flag of the external interrupt all right so what do we need else we probably we need to instead of moving to probably we need to move here with the bank select here inside isr right there yeah so we move here and then we need to move to bank select option if you remember option register In option register we can define whether we want the uh, the, uh, the external interrupt to be uh, uh, interrupted while it's rising up or falling down so bsf option register and i think it's called an edge yeah this is the bit where actually here we are making bit number six bit number six uh, bit six equal one which means it's going to be rising up rising up the interrupt will occur when it's rise up if we clear it it will be when falling down so this is our program i hope let me just compile it 
yeah no we are missing something here we need to go in the org04 need to uh, go to uh, oh, yes, all right so this is a power problem Good. All right. Okay. Let me just do. I want to display port C and port D in variables. Let me just clear them all, and we have port D as an input. Watch. Port D and port C as an output. Watch. All right. This is good. Now we need to have a stimulus. The most important thing is RP0 since it's an input. Oh, yeah, I forgot something. We need to define it as a, an output, an input. So probably we need to do something here. You know, say move LW0. We can do it in binary. 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, how many zeros we have? 0, 1. Okay, so I have 1, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, now we need with this value in, in the tris p move wf tris p. Why I did that? We need to make port p as an input because rb0 has to be input in order to trigger the the external interrupt rb0 so now we have rb0 rb0 is an input and what we have more we have i guess port d let me just put three values for port d port d rd0 rd1 and rd2 i don't need to put them all just three rd so i have three input rd and uh, uh, for rd for d and i have rb0 so now it's rising up that means it has to be low at the beginning and when it's it changed into high it will be triggered but right now let's do it this way so basically we have rb0 is high and let me just build run the program okay and pause then reset okay so if you notice that you see the variables here port c okay initially i'm here if i press f7 see i will jump i skip the uh, zero 04 now I'm defining the variables now now uh, I'm defining the end con so basically I'm, I'm gonna be in the loop nothing will change see this is this is our loop it only changes when we change RP0 let me just do it high there is gonna be no change if I make it low will not change also because it's from high to low actually it's triggered weird what did I do okay let me just check option of register even rising up yes if no, this is falling down. Let me just check. Okay, this is low. Now let's make it high.
yeah see so when it's high and it goes to low should not change it will not change but it fits it from low to high it will change because it's rising up see go to ISR then it will display the variables why it's not display yeah, or the you just put them high then low nothing will change now let's make them high now high let me just go to the variable see now port d is one it has to be now it will go to isr to move port e w then c port c is changed that's it so this is how it works uh, keep in your mind that you need to separate first of all org and to jump to start and you have org404 for the interrupt uh, you need to also to define port b external interrupt as an input you need to enable the endpoint uh, the bit for the interrupt uh, rb0 if it's going to be rb change or uh, timer zero it will be different but this is how you do it you don't need to memorize the location you just type the the representation then you, if for rb0 you need to define whether it's rising up or falling down uh, the loop here the internal loop uh, it does nothing this is the interrupt subroutine let me just do one thing if i do a clear bcf that it will be now falling down instead of rising up so if i compile it now it instead of going to be from high to low now this is high now if i run it pause and reset okay f7 now it's falling down now it will stay in the loop now i'm high now i won't make it low now it will be triggered because it's falling down see it has it went to the interrupt subroutine then executed the if it's from low to high it will not be triggered because we change the value it's from low to high it will not change anyway that's it for today thank you very much okay, just close that